Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Techie Code Buddy. I hope you all are doing extremely well. So guys, first of all, I would like to thank you. Thank you so much for this much of love and support because now we are a family of 20,000 plus subscriber on this channel and I'm very happy and I'm excited to share the news that I'm giving you a free giveaway for your Capgemini preparation. But for that, you have to wait till the very end. I will disclose the giveaway that what I'm providing you for free. It will be very helpful for you. Right. But before this, let's understand the current pattern of Capgemini exam because I have uh, asked to so many students that now we are having the 40 questions in technical MCQs and Capgemini is now focusing more on pseudo codes. Right. And again, in pseudo codes as well, there are some particular topics Capgemini is asking for. Right. So you don't need to go for each and every topic. There are certain topics if you are more focused on that you can easily clear the exam right but before this if you are not aware of the pattern although you should aware of the pattern because you are having your exam uh, in upcoming days but again let's have a quick revision that there are four assessment in capgemini the uh, the first assessment is consist of technical mcqs right 40 technical mcqs will be there 25 will be pseudo course and 15 will be dbms sql queries and from cloud and network security and from data structure right so this is the slavers for technical assessment then if you complete this if you clear this because in capgemini each round is an elimination round right so once you clear each step then only you will go forward to the interview round okay so once you clear this first step that means technical assessment you will move forward towards the WET that means essay written test right so in that essay yeah, you have to write an essay on a particular topic they will give you a topic and the length of the essay will be like 180 words to 200 words or till 250 words right and within 30 minutes you have to complete the essay and the third once you are clear with this essay as well then you will move forward to the game based aptitude test right so for that i will be telling you one particular resource if you practice on that resource it will be enough for you you don't need to go for any video or any other resource right that one resource will be helpful for you so now once you have clear your assessment one you will move forward to assessment two that is coding assessment right now again there are two cases whether you will get the coding assessment link or not the thing is at each step at each assessment your overall score will be counted so don't just think that just you have to qualify the exam no you have to prepare well you have to give your best so that you can get the best score because at each step your score will be counted and your overall score will be must and then aggregation will be there right so if you are under in the merit list of coding test right then only you will get the link of coding test that is for higher package roles right but if your overall score is quite less then you will be having the pa package of four point something lpa right so this is the thing that at each step your score will be counted so don't think that you just need to qualify the exam because uh, I, it's just an elimination round so just i have to make sure that i will not be eliminated no it's not the case you have to make sure that you are are qualifying the exam with the highest score right this is the thing okay now let's understand the current pattern of the exam that there will be 40 questions in your technical mcqs 25 will be from pseudo course and then 15 questions will be from rest of your core subjects right in pseudo course what are the topics that you should focus on so the very first thing your dsa concept should be good enough right and the second is uh, Capgemini is basically focusing on the knowledge of operators, especially bitwise operators. So I have multiple videos on pseudo codes, especially related to bitwise operator. And so because in Accenture as well, pseudo codes are there. So they, these pseudo codes also can help you. But if you want that uh, for Capgemini special, I bring the video, then I can bring the videos. You can comment uh, that, yes, I need pseudo codes video, then I will bring for you. Okay. The next is uh, 
any technical mcqs what are the questions will be from cloud and network security and so so just three to four questions will be from cloud and network security just three to four questions will be from dbms and sql so you don't need to read each and every subject thoroughly right it's not the, that time that you are opening your book now it's not the semester exam because in semester uh, last night fight will okay but the thing is it is a placement exam if you have the knowledge then only you can clear the exam your fundamentals should be clear anyways for the last time uh, preparation what i was talking about free giveaway for the last time preparation what i have done is i have made the cheat sheet for your last time preparation i have made the cheat sheet for each and every step first of all dsa right you can see th this is the complete cheat sheet then after this i have once all the previous year topic of essay there are 25 plus topics of essay that kept jim and i uh, asked in the previous exam so i have written down all the essays in a particular pdf so this is the complete pdf you can have a look here how you should write essay first of all you should write introduction then body of the context you what you are talking about and then at the last just make sure to wrap up with the conclusion with the proper conclusion and it will be benef beneficial for you if you can add some universal truth if you can add some facts right after this you will be having the game based aptitude so what i was talking about that uh, the ultimate resource for game based aptitude question is technical hub website technical hub website i will give the link in the description box there you can see in this video i have uh, mentioned th there are some videos right in these videos you can see that this is the actual online uh, platform that you can follow for your capgemini game based uh, aptitude right so it will be enough for you because you can uh, go through with it and it will be just one and uh, it will just take one and one half of hour like it will uh, this will be the time right so once you have done this uh, so you will be having for assessment to coding round so if you want the complete cheat sheet of capgemini coding uh, question so just comment down i will bring the coding cheat sheet as soon as possible then the next assessment is spoken english test so it is up to you how your fluency skills are right and the next is technical interview so don't worry about that uh, very soon i will start to make content on technical interview as well till now you can watch the video top 40 hr interview questions because in every technical interview there must be two or three hr interview questions as well right so this is how you can prepare for the last time because this time you are just having two three days or four five days so these cheat sheets will be helpful for you and especially cloud and network security cheat sheet and sa cheat sheet will be very beneficial for you for the last time see uh, why i am not talking about dsa because ds is a skill right ds is a skill that you cannot avail in just last hours it's not the thing that you can uh, prepare from the last time and then you can uh, clear the exam you your fundamentals should be clear if your fundamentals are clear then the dsa cheat sheet will be really helpful for you because you can better understand it that yes what is happening here if you are not familiar with the operation performed on a stack then how you will avail the benefit of that cheat sheet because you are not even getting what it is written there in cheat sheet right so the thing is for placement you have to uh, prepare very well you have to prepare hard right just the thing is so for each step i have provided you the revision cheat sheet and the cheat sheet really very helpful for you you can have uh, you can have a look on some feedbacks that exchange people give me if you are preparing for exchange on this channel there are 80 plus videos for exchange uh, multiple cheat sheet i have shared and previous year questions all, uh, also i have shared on this channel you can have a look so yes this was the free giveaway that i am providing all the cheat sheet for free because i put so much efforts in my cheat sheet see my only motive is that the maximum number of people should be selected from my channel once you message me na ma'am i have cleared this round so that relief i got it's just amazing piece so just the motive is that maximum number of students should be select in this year from my channel and yeah that's all for today and again thank you so much for uh, your support for your love and keep sharing the videos keep watching the videos and keep preparing we will bring more and more technical stuff we will bring more and more informative stuff for you so let's meet in the next video till then bye bye and take care